like I said in the last video, I do quite a bit of work for this uh, furniture store. So once a week I just go. Sometimes I go and get two or three videos to edit. So this was the salesman talking about different types of furniture, different types of wood. And if these choices seem to be too much for you, you know, kind of boggles your mind, I'll be happy to pick one out for you. Not a problem. And then what you see next is me editing it. So the office lady was helping me edit it. Uh, she wanted something specific. So anyways, yeah, I got it edited and they're going to, going to put it on their YouTube channel and social media later this week. Searching for companies to make free videos for. I got my schedule. I got some videos finished, so I have my schedule freed up. So I want to get more clients. Sometimes I call, sometimes I email, sometimes I just fill out the form on their website. Really depends. If it's after hours, I'll just fill out the form or email. Um, someone else I know, they email all the time. Uh, they seem to have pretty good success, but I feel like calling gets you a instant answer. And if they don't want it, then you don't waste a couple weeks. Keep emailing them if they're not interested. So I feel like I like calling better, but sometimes you don't get to the right person or they don't really understand what you're trying to do as much because it's just a you ask them a question and they have to answer it right away. So I don't know. What do you guys think? This is a big town, so there's lots of companies to call, but I'm just getting started calling them, so it's kind of overwhelming to find something that would be a good company to make a video for. Hey, I'm trying to call the normal office. Uh, marketing. Hey, my name is Seth Steiner, and I'm a local videographer. I was wondering if you'd be interested in video services. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. This one, they were not interested. I get that sometimes. Most of the time, they just have someone or just not interested at the, t at the time. So here I called this place, and I asked them if they would be interested in a free video, but for some reason, the line was cutting out or it wasn't. She couldn't hear me very well, so I went to the other room to continue the conversation. We talked a little bit, <clears throat> but didn't end up to be anything. Hey, I'm a local videographer, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in a free video. I'm a... Is the line cutting out a little bit? Okay, I'll try to go... Finishing up the editing for this video at home. <clears throat> I did the previous one at their store, so the office manager could help me. But now, um, I'm doing it at home. So, just getting it all finished up, polished up, ready to be sent out. I'm editing a video for the construction company. And I have them labeled by the days. So the first day I went out, up until the fifth day. To 11 and I don't even have all the footage in here so I have a few more days that I need to upload in there but I'm still editing day five so I'm a little behind because I've been making a couple shorts and stuff for them of time lapses <clears throat> so that video I shot in last week's vlog or in the last vlog um, won't I won't use that footage for probably another couple of months. So, I have plenty of footage to edit and after I finish this even I can go back and re-edit some like some of these I didn't even use. So, I'll have plenty of footage and once I finish this job shoot, it, which will be a couple more weeks, then they'll have more shoots, more sheds, more sh houses every they have lots of lots of shoots that I could go on so so that'll give me plenty of work so I won't get behind my editing setup so I have my DaVinci Resolve speed editor here my my gaming mouse with lots of buttons 
I don't actually game with it, but it's very helpful to have those quick shortcuts. I think I have enough functions on here that I could edit a full video without touching the speed editor or the keyboard. Actually, maybe not the speed editor, because I have a play button, but I don't have a pause button. So that might, I might need that. So, I'll try it out. My Lexar SSD, running back to this adapter that'll go to my MacBook. And then I have this adapter to connect the second monitor. And then I have a nice big window to look out of. So, and then I have this light to make it brighten up a little bit because it's kind of dark and dreary when the window's closed. But, and then I also have my MacBook on a stand and then the lights hooked back there and it goes all the way up the back side. Right there. So, pretty nice. And I have all those cords down there. These are very individualized and this means that you're getting a higher quality item that will last a lifetime. For example, if you're looking at a dining room table, you would have a choice of, do you want a... Right now I'm looking on Google Maps for companies to call for, to make videos for. Just finished uh, voiceovers for my second business. We sell 3D printed drawer organizers. So these are the two audio files and this is my script. So took me a few tries. This is, these are the, just the ones I used that were good enough to use. I fixed my, fix my 3D. This, uh, it takes like three or four seconds from when you click the button to when it actually starts recording. So I have a lot of cut off audio that I could not use. So if you remember last week's video, I had a 3D printer. So right here, it just... It's my 3D printer fail. It's my... Th it's supposed to be I fixed, but, you know, it, it, turn, it has the red light that turns on, and you think it's recording, but it takes a couple seconds. So this one, I just did it again, and it worked better. I just waited, like, five seconds. I fixed my 3D printer. So, should be able to edit that in good enough, and I actually have a business partner, and so he's doing the edit editing for this video. He just wanted me to do the voiceover. So he wants me to redo it, so I'm going to redo it for him. I fix my 3D printer fail. I fix my 3D printer fail. Let me explain. In last week's video, I showed you how my 3D printer failed. I fix my 3D printer fail. Let me explain. So if you remember last week's video, I had a 3D print that failed. Someone commented out that if I rotate it, I'd be less likely to shake or fall over. Not good. Just gonna connect it to my computer and delete those just so I don't have to. Okay, Let's see if I can do it again. I fixed my 3D printer fail, let me explain. So if you remember last week's video, I had a 3D print that failed. Someone commented that if I rotate it, it'd be less likely to shake or fall over. So I rotated it, hit print, and three hours later, this is what I got. Subscribe for more satisfying videos. That is how. So that was good, except that I have a uh, notes trans transcript, and I just did that because I didn't have it all typed out. Because I changed it, but then... He wanted me to change it, so I just recorded the same thing. Okay, I'll try it again. See if I can do it better.
I fixed my 3D printer fail. Let me explain. So if you remember last week's video, I had a 3D print that failed. Someone commented that if I rotate it, I'd be less likely to shake or fall over. So I rotated it, hit print, and three hours later, this is what I got. Subscribe for more satisfying videos. That is how. So I had a lot of stutters and stops. I don't know if he'll be fine with that. He might just have to edit it out and make good use of it. I did it twice, so if he can get something at least out of it. Now I'm going to put it in my files so I can save it and then delete it off the... Okay. See if he likes it. If not, I'll have to redo it once or twice more. I hope he will, is fine with it. Anyways, bye.